Yes, ma'am. I got the question. Ma'am? Yes, tell me. So, like, bracket, like, opens. And then x plus 5 slash 2 is equal to 10. Bracket is closed here? Yes. Uh, bracket is closed after 10. After 10? Yeah. Okay, so you will do it yeah. like this. X plus 5 plus 2 equals to 10. Okay? So first, it's your choice if you want to solve this directly. You can make 2 as a denominator. Then it will be 2x plus 1, 5, 10. Like this. Okay? Today, I'm like... Don't worry. Today uh, I will teach you this concept. Don't worry. Okay, ma'am. And I also, like, in another way also, my, uh, my like, first ma'am was teaching me, mm -hmm. like, when the exam was there, she told me, if this question is there, you have to then, like, multiply it with 2 into 10 is equal to 20, mm -hmm. x is equal to 20, and then we have 2, 20 minus 5. Yes. So, like, that also we can do? Yeah, that's also you can do. That's actually but over here. You cannot directly because over here, wait, this is x plus 5. Now it is divided by two. okay. Okay, your question is like this. Then, if the question is like this, you will solve it like this. If the question is like this, then you will do it like this 10 multiply by 2, x equals to 20, and then x equals to 20 minus 5, it gets 50. Clear. It depends on how your question is. If it is like this, x plus 5 by 2, right? Then you will do it like this. If it is x plus 5 and the under root is, uh, sorry, divided by 2. So you will solve it like this. Clear? Okay. Don't worry, today I have to teach you this concept. Okay. So before starting, right? Okay, let's just start from here only, right? Uh, so, students, listen to me very carefully. Now, for example, I gave you x plus 3, right? Over here, I will give you a value. For example, I gave you that x is equal to 2. So, in place of x, you will write 2 plus 3. And your answer is 5. Clear? Right? I am can explain again. I didn't get it. See, the question is x plus 3, right? And over here, x equals to 2. The value of x is 2. So it is 2 plus 3. Right? So your answer is 5. Clear? So whatever okay. value of x is given, you have to put that value instead of x and you will get your answer. Okay? So In here, the question we is should have... Yes, yes, yes. Come. So we, are, we have to write... In the first question, we have to write 0 plus 3. Yes. Not 0. x is 3 now. So 3 plus 3. 3 plus 3? Hmm. Clear? Well, uh, how 3 plus 3? The value of x is 3, na? Value, okay. So the answer is 3 plus 3 equals to 0. So 3 plus 3 will give you 6. So 6 is equal to 0? No, ma'am. So you would put it no. The answer will be no. Like that. Okay, go ahead. Okay. So here... The, I thought like the value is the answer. No, no, no. So here are your questions. First one I have already done. For you people, right? All the nine part you will do. Clear eleven parts. Okay. okay. Hmm. Quickly do it. And if you have any question, keep it to you. When we will discuss the answer at that time, I'll tell you. Okay. Um, uh, okay, okay, I got it.
Ma'am, I'm not understanding the third and uh, uh, not the third, the nine, one, nine, two, ten. No problem, I'll make you understand. Okay, Abu Bakr, you are also done. Abdullah, you are also done. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, let's discuss the answer. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, see. Uh, for this one, you will put it 0 plus 3. Right? So, 3 will yes. be equal to 3. So, it will be yes. Right? Next will be minus 3 plus 3. Ma'am, the first one itself 0. It's equal to zero. No, it is not equal. In the, uh, I mean the second one. Yeah, second one is it's... equal to. Okay, okay, sorry. Three uh, so plus zero, right? Yes. Right? This one will be zero equals to zero, so it will be yes. Right? Yes. And yes, next one will be seven minus seven. So it will give you one. So it is not equal. It is equals to one. Yes. Ma'am, we discussed this one. Uh, we didn't discuss the third one, right? We discussed, we discussed it again. Minus oh, three yeah, plus sorry. three will give you zero. Next one is eight minus Ma seven. Sir. Sorry. Seven minus seven is zero. Oh God, what I'm doing? Wait a minute. Ma'am, it's actually a little bit confusing. No, no, no. no actually, I, may, I am seeing here. I'm looking here. <laughs> Okay, uh, 7 minus 7 will be 0, so it is not equal, right? So it will be no, eight. right? 8 minus eight. 7 is 1, so this is yes. Yes. Right? Then over here, if we will multiply with 0, it will become 0, so no. Yeah. Right? Here, 5, 5 is 25, so yes. Right, yeah. Here, it will be minus 25 and it is 25, so no. Right? Yeah. Yes. Ninth one will be minus 6 divided with, it will be minus 2. So, minus no. no. Next, 0 by 3, no. Right? Yes. Eleventh one will be 6 by 3, yes. Now, Sindhus was not getting 10th and 11th, right, Sindhus? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, is it like uh, we have to just multiply 3 into 2? No, no, no. You have to put the value here. See, ninth one, it will be m is minus 6. Divided by 3. So, when you will divide it, you will get minus 2, right? But um, they ask you that it will be 2. So, the answer is no. For the next one, you have to put 0 by 3. So, when you will solve it, you will get 0. But here, it is 2. So, this is also no. In this case, it is 6 by 
3. So when you will divide it, you will get 2. So then the answer is yes. Clear? Oh, okay, ma'am. Got it. Now you will do this one. See, in bracket, we have given the value. Okay? Clear? So you have to yes. put the value and you have to tell me whether they are equal or not. Okay? Okay. Ma'am, it is same as the first one. Yes.
Okay, Sindhus, you are also done? Yes, ma'am, I'm already done. Okay, so both of you done, right? So, E. Okay, okay, no problem, we will discuss. Okay, for the first one, N plus 5, so N is 1. So, first one is not equal, right? Next one is this, minus 2. So, 7 and minus 2 will be 14. Minus 14 plus 5, right? So, minus 14, it will give you minus 9. It will give you minus 9. So, it is also not equal. Yes. Then this, this is correct. Yes. yes. Right. And D1 is also incorrect. It's, right. Yeah. E1. Yes, it's over here, Sindhu, you were facing difficulty in E1, right. So, it is 4p minus 3 equals to 13. So, p will be minus 4. Right? So, 4 and 4 is minus 16 minus 13 minus 3. Minus minus plus. So, 16, 17, 18, 19 minus 19. Are they both equal? No, ma'am. Right? Okay, ma'am. Hmm. For the f1 also, p is 0. So, 4 multiplied by 0 minus 3. So, 0 minus 3 will give you minus 3. And it is 13. So, it is also not equal. Right? Hmm? Okay. Yes. Now solve the following equation by trial and error. Okay, this we will do. Okay. First, I think I have already taught you this one. Right? Yes, ma'am. You have to convert it into the state, uh, the right hand equation for the following statement. Okay, so quickly do it and then we will discuss the answer.
Tan mam. मैं Ma'am, I got. Um, X plus four is equal to nine. Four equal to nine? Yes. X plus four, right? Yeah. Yes. X plus four is equal to nine. Hmm. For the second one, ten a into seven. Uh, it's y minus two is equal to zero. Tell me one answer. Actually, I'm getting two answers. Ma'am, I got ten a into seventy. Okay. Ma'am, the second one or the third one? Okay, I'll do it. Don't worry. Okay. See, for the first one, the question was sum of number is this. So we did x plus four equals to nine, right? Second is two. Oh, let me just erase this. Okay, your second question itself says is two subtracted from y. So how will you write it? Y minus two equals to eight, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Next one is ten times a is seventy. Wait, let me just write it here. Mm -hmm. So ten times a is seventy. So it will be ten a. Equals to seventy, right? Yes. Okay. Ma'am, I wrote into seventy. No, ten times a is seventy, na? So ten multiplied by a. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Next is the the number b divided by five gives six, right? So number yes. b divided by five is giving you six, six right? right? Yes, ma'am. Next is three fourth of t. So, three fourth of t gives you fifty. Yes. Ma'am, minus. No, no, it's equals to. Okay. Now, next one is seven times m plus seven 
gets you 77. So 7 times M plus 7 will give you 77. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes. Okay. Next question. One fourth of a number X minus 4 gives you this. So one fourth, one fourth of X, X minus 4 is equal to 4. You can write it like this as well. Right? Both are the same thing. Okay? Okay. Okay. Next one is, if you take away 6 from 6 times y. So, 6y minus 6 equals to 60. Yes? 6y minus 6, ma'am. Yes. The question is, say, na, if you take away 6 from 6 times y. Okay. Now, coming to the next one. If you add 3 to 1 third of z. So, Ma'am, so it could be z by 3 plus 3 is equal to 30, right? Yes. Clear? Yeah. And yes. I wrote one more also. I also wrote uh, one, 1 by 3 z plus 3 is equal to 30. Yeah, you can write it like as well. This as well. Okay. Okay. Till here it was or more questions? Last now? Okay, now this is the question. You have to make a statement. Okay. Okay. Like this you can make. Hmm. The sum of number P and 4 is 15. Like this. Ma'am, and I have a question about the fortnightly rest you took like last. Like, did you correct it? Which one? That last test we took. Yeah, I have last shared it with your counselor. I think they will share it with the report card only. Okay, ma'am. 